All right, time for another math. Easy solution term to discuss. Uh, further into calculating square roots by hand and look at example two, which is basically this one right here. In my earlier video, I went over this one, this example, square root three. And my uh, next video, I'll probably go over this one right here, uh, just to help better illustrate calculating square roots by hand right here. In my earlier video, you can see that video link below on this one. I go in a bit more detail than I'm going to go uh, right now. And this is just better illustrate calculating square roots by hand. So basically, square root of 72, the number of the first thing, like I stated before, was to separate the left and the right sides of the decimal place into pairs of the digits. So there's 72, that's one pair. Then we put a 0, 0. 0, 0, etc. So we can keep going depending on how many decimal places we want to get to. So right now we'll just start calculating this one. So remember the first thing you do is look for an integer that is the, the largest integer for your square that fits into this 72 nicely but without going above. And in this one right here we know that 8 squared is equal to 64, 9 squared is equal to 81 right here. And as you can see in this case well, this is this is greater than 72, and this is the closest one. Then. So 8's the closest. We just put an 8. Then we, we can put the 8 right here for reference. Now 8 squared, 64. And now you just subtract, like, long division. And then you just subtract these two. You're going to get, well, 8 right here. And now the next step, like I stated in my earlier video, is just bring down these, uh, the next pair. So 8, 0, 0. And now what we do here is we double this one. So it's going to be a 16 and a blank. And this blank number is going to be here, and that's going to be the one where we multiply this. It has to be, well, close to 800 without going over, and it's going to be the largest one. And in this case, if you look at it, you know, 200 times 4, that's going to be, well, 800. So, but this is a bit, this is close to 200, and so basically 4 should work, and in fact it is 4 if we multiply it out. So put a 4 right here, so 4 times 4 is 16. Carry the 1. 4 times 6 is, is 24 plus this one here, so five, carry the two, four times one is four, plus the uh, two is six. So six, five, six, and then the difference right here, well, this difference is gonna be less than the 64. You can just look at it here. Subtract this using just uh, this regular subtraction by hand rules. You can see in the video link below, I go over subtraction, addition, multiplication, and division by hand. You can see those in the video links below. So if you put this down, you just make it a 10, this is going to be a 9 because it's a 0 there. And we also subtract 1 here, so it's going to be a 7. Now when we subtract, it's going to be a 4. 9 times nine minus uh, 5 is basically 4. And then 7 minus 1 is 1. So 144. And as you see, that's less than this 164. So next step, we just repeat the exact same. Put a 0 right here. And now we're going to get this one here. And now the next step is actually, instead of, you don't multiply this whole number, you could just multiply this 4 only. So we're going to get 1, 6, 8 right here. If this was, let's say, 6, if it was a 6, so 1, 6, 6, if you multiplied, it would become, well, basically 1. Uh, you're going to be, uh, this is going to be a double, it's going to be a 2. And then 6, we carry the 1 here because it's 12, so 172. So all we're doing is multiply this one here. And again, you have a blank space. And also, this is the exact same thing as instead of doing this one, you can just multiply this top 84 or these two numbers, 8, 4. And you know that 8, 4 times it by 2. This is going to be exactly 6, 1, 6, 8. This is going to be, um, yeah, 2 times 4 is 8. And then 2 times 8 is 16. So 1, 6, 8. So it's the same, same stuff, but it's uh, usually easier just to multiply this, this number on the right here. So we get something like this. And so now we have to find out what fits into here. And as you can see, well, this one is really small, small compared to this, so it should be a high number like 8 or 9. In fact, it is 8 here, so we could just stick to 8 here. We could write it here, or you could write it here just to uh, fit along the, the circles, but I'll just put it here. So anyways, we, we can guess 8. In fact, it is 8, so let's just multiply it out. 8 times 8 is 64. Carry the 6, so 8 times 8 again, 64, but then plus the 6, so 70. Carry the 7. 8 times 6 is 48. Carry the, I uh, know, add this 7 here, so 55. So put a 5 and then carry the 5 right here. And 8 times uh, 1 right here. This is just 8, then it's going to be a 13 right here. So adding the 5. So 13, as you can see here, if you're subtracting these, again, you go put a 10, 9. This is going to be a 13 because it's uh, less than uh, 5, the 4. And this is going to be a, th uh, a 3. 
So we're going to get right here a 6, a 9, and then 13 minus 5 is basically an 8. And this one is less than this, so this is, in fact, the largest number we could have right here. So I'll go one more decimal place. We'll put a 0, 0. And th that's a 0 we just drag here. So we put a 0, 0 there. And now we multiply. Again, you can multiply 8, 4, 8. And if you were to multiply 8, 4, 8 right here, you, you can get a 6. Put a 1 here. It's 2 times 4 is 8 plus 9. Right, plus the one, then two, this one, 16. So you get one, six, nine, six. So you could do that, that's the long way, or we could just multiply this by two. This, this is eight right here, and multiply by two, we're gonna get, well, 16, carry the one. So 16, carry the one, one, six, nine. So it's the exact same way as that, and you're gonna get something like that. And again, you're gonna have a blank space right here, and then that corresponds to the last number. We'll make this the last number uh, for this calculation. And now we're going to go 1696. How much does it go into this one right here? And well, this is how many digits? This is going to be three, uh, five digits. This is five digits as well. And I'm going to guess, well, basically five right here. I think five would be a pretty good guess right here because if you just had, uh, if you just had basically two, if this was a two zero 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 and to multiply it by five, you'll get basically 10. But this is a bit less than it, and this is a really close to 10. So I think it is 5. And in fact, it is 5. So just put a 5 right here. I'll just fit in this line. So it's a 5. Multiply by 5 right here. So we got a 25. Carry the 2. 5 times 6 is 30. Plus that, so 2, 3. Yeah, so that's a 32. Then 5 times 9 is 45. Plus this 3 is 48. So 8 carry the 1, 5 times 6 is uh, 30, plus that, four, 34, carry the 3 right here, and then 5 times this one is basically 5 plus 3, so 8. So as you can see, this is really close, and you could either subtract this out, etc. I uh, think I'll just stop right here. And so you can, yeah, so you can basically subtract this out, carry another zeros, and then multiply this 5 right here. You're going to get 1, 6, 9, well, 7, 0. And then a blank because if you multiply this one out by uh, two, it's gonna be a ten. Carry the one, or you can just multiply this all out by two. And etc. You can get blank, blank, go oh, right here, whatever. So we get something like this. And right here, I have it uh, calculated with Google Calculator. And as you can see, square root seventy two is eight point four eight five, and that's what we have eight point four eight five. So and you can keep going doing this forever, and it's exact answer you get always. Well, that's anyways all for today. Hopefully you learned. And remember, you can always download these exact notes in a Dropbox link below and stay tuned for another math easy solution.